basketball can be a heated sport. When a player is on the court and focused on the game, the drive to win can take over. Some players are known for their ability to keep a cool head in stressful situations, and others even thrive on it. The whole concept of clutch and being clutch centers around a player's ability to play the best and make their shots when it counts the most. And then there's the other side. Players that can't seem to stay out of trouble and constantly get called for technical fouls, flagrant fouls, and just straight up fine. In today's video, we'll be listing 11 notorious NBA athletes who have lost their cool on the court. So sit back and grab something to eat because you're not going to want to miss this video. But before we jump in, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any new content. Now, let's get right into the video. Number one, DeMarcus Cousins. Now, newer NBA fans might not know this, but DeMarcus Boogie Cousins used to be a notorious hothead in the league. Drafted by the Kings in 2010, Boogie's rookie year was marked with incidents that hinted at his angry nature. From locker room fights with teammate Dante Green, a near on-court fight with Rajon Rondo, to getting kicked out of practice, Cousins showed that he was a player that lets their emotions get the better of him. Keep in mind, that was his rookie year. Boogie has also amassed an insane amount of technical fouls while playing. During the 2012-13 season, he led the league with 16 technical fouls while also being ejected several times and suspended by the league for a confrontation with Spurs commentator Sean Elliott. Honestly, you can make a whole separate list on just Boogie's various fines and suspensions. That makes him undeniably one of the most hot-headed players in league history. Number two, Kermit Washington. Now this is a name that many might not recognize and for good reason. Washington played during the 70s with legends like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and was heavily defensive of the big man. So much so that he got into several fights with people who hard fouled the center. He even almost killed someone. No, seriously. In 1977, in a game between the Los Angeles Lakers and Houston Rockets, Washington punched Rockets guard Rudy Tomjanovich square in the face. Tomjanovich was actually coming to break up another altercation between the two teams, but Washington didn't know this and only saw the man running up on it. The punch left Rudy with a cerebral contusion, a broken jaw and nose, and blood and spinal fluid leaking into his skull capsule. It was enough to have left him dead, but thankfully, due to the doctors on the scene, he was able to survive. Number three, Matt Barnes. I think any NBA fan has seen the famous video of Matt Barnes pump faking an inbound pass to Kobe Bryant's face, and even though the ball came centimeters close to Bryant's face, he doesn't even flinch. Well, that was pretty much a Matt Burns special while he was a player in the NBA. He was known for his quick temper and getting in people's faces during a game. He seems to enjoy the chaos when things get out of hand. Throughout his career, he mentioned amassing over $150,000 in fines. One notable fine came during a playoff game against the Rockets for comments made to James Harden's mom. Now that's definitely losing your cool. Number four, Andre Miller. Andre Miller's career was the definition of a journeyman point guard. His career was actually fairly quiet when it comes to on-court events. He did foul hard from time to time, but not nearly as much as any of the other entries on this list. He's mainly on here for one event and one event only, and that's for running like a freight train into Blake Griffin and knocking him over. In a 2010 game against the Los Angeles Clippers, while he was on the Portland Trailblazers, Miller was getting frustrated at Blake, continually pushing him to get a rebound. So during the next possession, while Blake is on offense, Miller collides with him and sends him flying under the rim. Funnily enough, there was no foul called on the play. But after the game, Miller was handed a one-game suspension. Griffin didn't push him for the rest of the game. Number five, Danny Ainge. Both as a player and a coach, Danny Ainge had a knack for getting under opposing teams' skin. Playing through the 80s and 90s, Ainge established a reputation for his intense, in-your-face play. He wasn't just all talk, though, and got in more than his fair share of fights. In a playoff game in Atlanta in 1983, he called seven foot one inch Tree Rollins a sissy, which led to an elbow to Ainge's face and Ainge tackling the giant to the ground. The two wrestled on the ground and Ainge received an injury to his middle finger as well as an ejection for starting the fight. Number six, Kenyon Martin. Saying Martin had a short fuse is putting it mildly. The man would flip out over anything. Blind referees, bad coaches, owners, and ball boys. Anytime something seemed to slight Martin, he would always push back. 
He's been kicked out of more NBA games than some players play in their entire career. He was fined $15,000 when he and his entourage got into a verbal altercation with fans, and he was cautioned to no longer bring them to games. His off-the-court antics can't go unnoticed either. He almost got into a heated tirade with Mavericks owner Mark Cuban, and almost fought then-teammate Alonzo Mourning when he mocked Mourning's kidney disease. Talk about messed up. Number 7. Bill Lamebeer For anyone that watched ESPN's The Last Dance documentary, or anything about the bad boy Detroit Pistons, then you've heard of Bill Lamebeer. His name is synonymous with the physical, borderline football style of play during that era of the NBA. He seemed angry right at tip-off, and his brawling play style had everyone in his sights. It worked, too. The Jordan rules, famously used by the Pistons in the playoffs, suited Lamebeer perfectly, as he and other Pistons players would basically mug Jordan every time he touched the ball. Jordan wasn't the only legend to feel Lamebeer's wrath. NBA legend Charles Barkley got into a heated fight with Lamebeer in 1990, with the two throwing massive punches. It's safe to say that anyone that was unlucky enough to play against Lamebeer didn't like him. Number 8. Charles Barkley Speaking of Chuck, he was no slouch either. He felt no fear on the basketball court. Not as big as other power forwards, Barkley often found himself getting into fights with the guys he was fighting for rebounds. Besides Lamebeer, Chuck got into fights with Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Oakley, and many others. He was arrested for breaking a man's nose during a fight after a game against the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, and the fight with Charles Oakley. It came during a preseason game. I guess no incident is too little for the Chuckster. Number 9. Dennis Rodman Oh, Dennis, what a character. From the piercings to the hair, you can't create a better character than and Dennis Rodman. Coming into the league as a member of the Bad Boy Pistons, Rodman developed a physical style of play that coupled with the fact that he frequently let out his anger out on the court led to several incidents. Perhaps most famously was when Rodman played for the Bulls. During the 96-97 season, already known as a defensive presence and a rebounding force, every player knew Rodman played physically. But cameraman Eugene Amos would find this out personally. After tripping over Amos during a game, Game, Rodman kicked the cameraman in the groin and was suspended 11 games by the league. Of course, he paid a settlement to Amos, but ouch, that must have hurt. Number 10, Rashid Wallace. Rashid Wallace was a menace on the court. There's no other word to describe his style of play. He set the season single record for the most technical fouls with a whopping 41, and he is third all time in technical fouls throughout his career. He also holds the record for the most ejections in an NBA career with 20. It was almost like the only reason he played was to get hit with a T. His antics forced the NBA to institute a rule change dictating any player who reaches 15 technical fouls in a season would be suspended one game. That didn't seem to slow him down. It should come as no surprise that Wallace was also there during the infamous Malice at the Palace. Speaking of which, finally, number 11. Ron Artest slash Meta World Peace. Ron Artest was known to be a hot Hothead. So much so that he went to therapy and practiced different ways to control his temper during a game. That wasn't the case on November 19th, 2004, when Artest and other players entered the stands of a Pacers Pistons game and attacked fans. While all those players could be on this list, it was Artest who started fighting fans and who received the most severe penalties. After he believed one of the fans threw a cup of Diet Coke on him, he entered the stands and started punching fans who were confronting him. After it all ended, our test was suspended for the rest of the season, 86 games, and lost nearly $5 million in salary. It remains the longest suspension in NBA history, and the malice at the palace lives on in infamy. Well, that about does it for this list. Let us know any suggestions you have for future videos. Did we miss any other notable NBA players who lost their cool? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.